Hey guys, welcome back to Ace Recaps. Today I'm going to be explaining a 2020 Hindi crime thriller film titled, Mrs. Serial Killer. The movie begins with Sona who seems to be losing her shit over the arrest of her husband. She's tied up a girl named Anushka to a bed and threatens to kill her and her child. The movie abruptly cuts to a week earlier where we watch Sona on a video call with her husband Manoj. Manoj is a well-known gynecologist in the town. She tells him that after all their efforts, she's finally pregnant with his child and they both can't wait to celebrate together as he's gone away on a trip. Just then her ex-boyfriend Inspector Imran shows up at her doorstep. He's quite drunk and tries to convince Sona that her husband is behind the disappearance of six girls in the town. He distracts her and tries to collect clues throughout the house to help him nail the monster. He spots an old photograph of her husband and walks out of the house right away. The next morning, the inspector calls for backup along with all the reporters in the city as he's just solved the case of the missing women. He's gone to the place in the photograph and found a hidden door in the ground. When they all go down to check, they find a rotten corpse cut in pieces hanging from the ceiling. They also find six fetuses in a jar. All the women the man killed were unmarried and pregnant which made him think that he's doing the world a favor. Just usual serial killer shit. They find the remaining five bodies buried in the backyard. As soon as Manoj reaches the airport, the police arrest the man. Sona is shocked to hear the news of her husband and rushes to meet the father of her child. There he convinces her that he's being framed for the murders and he had nothing to do with the deaths of the innocent girls. He then tells her to contact a patient of his who's a well-known lawyer and can help prove his innocence. Sona does as he says and rushes to meet the lawyer. He's a very wealthy and powerful man but unfortunately suffers from terminal cancer. Every other lawyer in the town has decided not to take on this case except for this one. At the bail hearing, his lawyer attends the case using an iPad and pleads not guilty. But just then, Sona's ex-boyfriend Inspector Imran shows up and gives in the proof. The DNA on the cigarette buds found at the crime, match that of what was taken from Manoj's house. Therefore the bail was rejected and Manoj was to remain under custody until the next hearing. When she goes back to the lawyer for advice, she is convinced that her ex-boyfriend committed the murders to get back at her and that's why he's framing her husband. The lawyer tells her that all the evidence is pointing towards her husband and the only way to set him free is to prove that the killer is still out there. He tries to tell her that in order to free her husband, she will have to kill a pregnant woman. Sona's entire world collapses and she feels the wall closing in on her. Just then she gets a call from the hospital. Her husband's inmates tried to kill him and brutally injured him in the process, for murdering innocent women. She sees her husband lying on the bed and breaks down in tears. Realizing she doesn't have much time, Sona decides to do the unthinkable to save her husband's life. While driving back home that night, she spots her ex-boyfriend and thinks about running him over but she changes her mind at the last second. It is then revealed that the reason she didn't marry Imran was that both her parents were doctors and they wanted her to get married to a doctor too but Imran was just a local cop. They were both deeply in love but Sona finally calls it quits. Looking at the circumstances it now seems very plausible that her ex-boyfriend did indeed frame her husband. The next morning, Sona books an appointment with the local gynecologist. When she goes there for a checkup, she distracts the receptionist and clicks pictures of names and numbers of the other patients. She runs back to her car and starts calling up the numbers to find out which one of them is pregnant and unmarried. She stumbles upon a woman named Anushka Tawari and realizes that she's one of her students. When she starts stalking the girl we come to know that Anushka is a rebel child with blue hair. She got pregnant with her boyfriend and against her parents' wishes has decided to keep the child. After a fight with her boyfriend, the horrid child tries to kill herself by standing in front of a truck. Luckily Sona pushes her off the road in time, saving her life. She then offers Anushka a ride home and they bond over the fact that the men in their life are quite horrendous. She drops her off at a dojo, and we see that Anushka is a black belt in karate and teaches a class. This means that it's going to be that much harder to kidnap her. That evening she goes to her husband's clinic and takes home a bottle of chloroform. She makes a sandwich with it and tests it out on her dog and the dog passes out. 
Unfortunately, the maid of the house spills the drug and replaces the liquid with water so that she doesn't get yelled at by Sona. Unaware of what happened, Sona decides to kidnap Anushka that night using the drug. At night, when Anushka walks home alone, Sona wears a disguise and follows her. She parks her car and decides to follow her on foot. Anushka spots the car and hides behind a wall along with Sona claiming that somebody is following them. Just then she uses the chloroform on the girl. Since she's a black belt, she doesn't panic and acts as though the drug worked. When Sona tries to tie her up, Anushka pushes her away and ends up chasing her around the town. Just as Sona is about to give up in a field of flowers, Anushka starts having an allergic reaction to the pollen as she's an asthmatic. Sona uses this to her advantage and ends up capturing the brave girl. The next morning, the cops get a phone call about another missing girl. Everyone in the town gathers outside their house as they await answers since they all thought that the serial killer had been apprehended. Inspector Manoj proceeds to interrogate Anushka's boyfriend who claims to love the girl very much and has nothing to do with her disappearance. Meanwhile, Sona has tied up the girl in an abandoned hospital and communicates with her using a voice-changing app on her phone. She claims to be a serial killer who's about to take her life and then ends up feeding her some food until she gathers the courage to complete the dirty deed. She decides to kill the girl but backs out at the last minute because she's not a serial killer. She calls up the lawyer and tells him that she'll free the girl and when she tells everyone about it, it'll prove that her husband is innocent. At the same time, Anushka gets a hold of some scissors and manages to free herself. When Sona goes back into the room she gets jumped by the black belt. She does a jumpy kick and they both fight it out. Luckily for Sona she finds the syringe and injects her. Now Sona can't even let go of the girl because she's seen her face. When Anushka wakes up, Sona loses her shit and comes at her with a scalpel. In the next scene, the public seems to be losing their mind about an innocent man behind bars. Just then the police get a call that the missing girl's body will be found at the same place. Everybody rushes there to find Anushka's body cut into pieces and hung from the ceiling next to her fetus, proving that the serial killer is still out there. At the next court hearing, Manoj was proved to be innocent and was set free. Sona embraces her dear husband in her arms and tears of joy running down her face. She then takes her husband to the abandoned hospital and explains to him everything that happened. Anushka is still strapped to the bed and the body that was found was an unclaimed body she purchased from another hospital. She proceeds to feed the girl and we watch as her husband gives us a bone-chilling look. As they leave the hospital, it seems that Anushka's boyfriend has followed them there. Back at home, Manoj talks to his unborn child and the happy couple fall asleep. At the abandoned hospital, the brave boy goes around the creepy place looking for Anushka and finally spots her. Just before he's able to free her, he hears a noise and hides in a nearby closet. Sona wakes up from her sleep and finds that her husband is missing from the bed. She decides to pay the hospital a visit and finds her husband's car parked out front. When she goes inside, she's shocked to find her husband about to perform a surgery on the poor girl. When questioned about it, he claims that all babies born out of wedlock need to be aborted and the sinners who bore the child need to be killed just like his mother should have. We now realize that Manoj was an orphan growing up and went through so much trauma that he decided to start killing every woman like his mother. Sona freaks out and runs to get her hands on a scalpel but she's too slow and gets stabbed instead. Manoj ties her to a chair and proceeds to tear off Anushka's clothes. Her boyfriend tries to come to her rescue but he's no match to the serial killer and gets himself tied to another chair. While stuck in the closet, Anushka's boyfriend managed to send Inspector Imran his location. So a few moments later Imran shows up to the crime scene as well. When he spots the three people strapped down, he gets jumped too and unfortunately loses his gun. Now Imran gets tied to another chair too. With the way this is going, may as well strap down the entire Indian army I suppose. Imran reveals that his sister was murdered by her gynecologist and when he visited the doctor he got beat up bad and went into a coma for two years. When he woke up he found out that the love of his life married a serial killer and they moved to another town. That's why he decided to come there to finally avenge his dead sister. The doctor has a hearty laugh and proceeds with his chosen methodology of abortion. He plays a song and does his routine. 
Imran gets up and pulls out the scalpel from Sona's hand and uses it to break free from the knot. Imran and Manoj get into a fight while the other three manage to escape their bounds. Just before Manoj is about to stab Anushka, Sona gets in the way and Manoj ends up stabbing his own child. He screams in pain but is too late as Imran manages to stab and kill the evil man. In the next scene, they all wake up in the hospital but Sona loses her child. When inquired with the doctor about the dead body, he claims that they managed to save him. Shocked, Imran runs to check up on the serial killer, but unfortunately, Manoj has managed to escape yet once again. The movie ends as we watch the evil lawyer help his best friend escape in a wheelchair. That's all folks, thank you for watching, if you like the video please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a great day.